I think I may have found the best online math courses for homeschool. Thinkwell Homeschool has online math courses for middle and high school, including AP math courses, honors math courses, and even courses in science, economics, and government. There's a lot to cover, so let's jump right in. So if you haven't heard of Thinkwell Homeschool, it's a website offering high quality video courses to homeschoolers in several different subjects. You can choose from 6th to 12th grade math courses, honors level courses for college bound students, AP and CLEP courses, and even some college level courses. The courses are all taught through video lessons that you access online, so homeschool parents don't have to stress about teaching those more complex subjects. And they even include automatic grading of quizzes and tests. So if you've been looking for a really great math curriculum for your homeschooler, this may be the one. There are a lot of different courses on Thinkwell Homeschool, so I'm gonna show you a few different ones in this video so you can see what they're like. But first, let's just take a look at the course catalog. The first category here is their sixth to 12th grade math courses. Here you'll find everything you need for middle and high school math. They have sixth grade math, sixth grade honors math, and a course in sixth grade math essentials, which is meant to review the key concepts from sixth grade math. You'll have the same three options for seventh and eighth grade math, and then you'll get into the high school options. And of course, you can choose whichever course and grade level best suits your student. They do have a placement test to help you decide, and we'll take a look at that together in just a minute. For high school, we have Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2, including honors options. There's also Trigonometry, Pre-Calculus, and Calculus, and you'll also find those review courses for each of these if you need them. Then they also have some summer additions for several of their courses, and this 30 Days to Algebra Readiness course. In addition to the math courses, if you look here under their honors course listing, You'll also find courses in chemistry, biology, physics, economics, American government, and public speaking. If your homeschool student is hoping to take AP or CLEP exams, you'll also find several courses on ThinkWell to help them prepare. So you're really going to find everything you need for middle and high school math here, as well as some extras. Okay, so now before we take a look at a few of these courses in depth, let's just talk about the price. On Thinkwell Homeschool, you're going to be purchasing each of these courses individually, and the price does vary depending on the course. For example, this sixth grade math course is $169 for the full course, which includes 12 months access. And most of the courses on here are all going to be $169, but there are some that are more, such as this Honors Biology course, which is $199. And the Essentials Review courses are going to be quite a bit less expensive at just $39.95 each. They also do offer one, three, and six month extensions that you can purchase if you weren't able to complete the course in the 12 months that they give you. No matter which course you choose, you can save 15% off your purchase if you use the link that I've shared with you in the video description. So that can help make the price a little more affordable. If you aren't sure which course to pick, they do have placement tests. You'll need to put in your name and email address in order to download these, and then you can have your child take the test. They include answer keys and a scoring guide to help you decide which course your child is ready for based on how they do on the test. The answer key even includes links to video explanations, so that's a really great way to make sure you're choosing the right course for your child. Another thing they do have is a 14 day free trial that you can get for most of the courses. You can try out up to five different courses at a time for up to 14 days. And the best part is you don't have to give them any credit card info. I always appreciate a company that will really let you test out what they have to offer before you make a purchase. So that's definitely something to check out if you're not quite sure if this is the right online math program for your homeschool. Just keep in mind that the work that you do in the free trial isn't going to transfer over when you make a purchase. So once you're sure that this is something that you want to buy, I wouldn't wait for the free trial to end because then you're just going to have to do the work over. And now, why don't we try a few of these courses together so we can see what they're like. Let's start with seventh grade math. So here are all the lessons that are included in this course. 
since this is a homeschooling program, you have access to everything, but it's still probably best to start at the beginning of the course. You can start here and get all the basic course info as well as the course resources. This is all information to help you make the most out of the course and understand everything that you need to do. They even include videos to explain how it all works. There's also a lesson plan that you can print out to help you stay on track with what you should do each day. Although you can of course go at your own pace. But for kids who like this sort of structure, it's here for you. You can also print out graph paper, function tables, and read about the calculator usage policy. And then you could just go here to module one to start the course. So we can pick any lesson here to test out. This one here has a video lesson, lesson notes, a worksheet, interactive practice, and extra practice. Let's start by viewing the lesson. There are three parts to this lesson and each part is around five minutes long. Over on the right are some extras that you can print such as the lesson notes and practice worksheet. There's also a transcript of the video lesson. And you can also turn the subtitles on or off here. And now let's just watch a quick sample of this lesson so you can see what it's like. You know, not only do I teach mathematics, but I'm also a mathematician. And the stuff that I like studying about in my own work are actually about numbers. And so I love talking about what are called prime numbers. They're in some sense the fundamental building blocks upon which all the other whole numbers can be built upon. Let me tell you about them. They're the numbers that can't be factored into two numbers that are each smaller than the original. So let's take a look at some prime numbers. So we start with two. Notice that I can't write two as something times something. Two can't be factored. Three can't be factored. Four can be factored. Four can be expressed as two times two. So that's not an example of a prime. But five can't be broken up, whereas six can be. It's two times three. Seven can't be. Eight can be. Eight, in fact, is two times two times two. Nine is not a prime because it's three times three. So you can see what a prime number is. It's a a whole number that can't be factored into two smaller pieces. So these are prime numbers. These are examples of prime numbers. And these are examples of what are called composite numbers. Numbers that are not prime are called composite. They're the ones that can be factored into two or more smaller numbers. Now, if you look at this list a little bit, you'll notice that something is missing. Can you see what number that you're so familiar with on this list is missing? Yeah, it's early on in the list. It's the number one. Where's one? Well, here is just a neat little convention that every single math person agreed upon about a jillion years ago. That's a joke but we all agreed upon the fact that one is not a prime. So one is an example of a number that's not prime. So when we consider the prime numbers, we always start with two and bigger. Once you've watched the video, you can do the interactive practice exercises over here. Since this is just for practice, there are unlimited attempts available. And as you answer the questions, you will get an explanation of the correct answer whether you got it right or wrong. I think that's really important. And once you get through all the practice questions, you will get a percentage grade based on your answers. You'll also get a complete explanation of each problem. If you want even more practice, you can try this extra interactive practice here, or you can just move on to the next lesson. At the end of each module, there are these review worksheets that you can print off. I really like that they include this offline practice. I think it's so important for math. And then there's also a quiz to do, which will be graded. And then at the end of module seven, there is a practice test as well as a test. The practice test is nice because you can do it as many times as you want. And if you get a question wrong, you can go back to the course and review the information. 
then you'll be ready to do really well on the actual test. And if you need the answer keys to any of the worksheets from the course, you can find them here. ThinkWell is going to keep track of all your grades in the course, and you can find them over here. You can print this out at any time. And there's also this checklist here that will give you an overview of your progress through the course, and you can print this as well. So you can see this is a very comprehensive homeschool math curriculum. But now let's take a look at a different course on ThinkWell Homeschool. That was a challenge for me at only seventh grade math, but what the heck, let's try Honors Algebra 1. One thing I wanna show you about this particular course is that there's a course companion book here that you can download and print if you want to. Not all of the courses have this, some just have the notes and printable materials within the course itself, but for this course, they have it all together as one book. If we go to the course, you can see it's laid out the same way as the first course we did. We can open up one of these modules, and here there are some orientation materials for the module. There's a to-do list that you can print as well as some warm-up exercises. And then there's a short orientation video. Then the actual lesson starts here, and just like before, there will be a few short videos to watch, lesson notes, a practice worksheet to do, and interactive practice exercises. So you can see this honors level course is quite a bit more rigorous, which you should expect with an honors course. Let's take a quick look at one of the video lessons now. Well, now we're ready to put all the ideas we've developed for solving inequalities together in sort of one, one big inequality. So let's take a look at an example, and you'll see all the ideas flow together. So here's an inequality. 240 plus 5a is greater than or equal to 280. The question is, we want to now solve this for a, solve the inequality. So the first thing I do, now my thinking, by the way, is to just sort of proceed as I would proceed if this were actually an equality, solve it the same exact way. The only little caveat, the only little twist, is that if I'm ever going to multiply through or divide through by a negative, I have to make sure I, um, I you know, reverse the inequality. Other than that, I can just sort of proceed as always. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the 240. So I have 240 plus 5a is greater than or equal to 280. So I'm going to subtract 240 from both sides. Nothing changes. I can subtract from both sides. It's only when I multiply by a negative I'm in trouble. And here I see this is just 0, and so I see 5a is greater than or equal to, and this is just 40. I now divide both sides by 5, and again, since 5 is positive, there's no problem, and I see that a is greater than or equal to 8. Okay, so there's the answer. Any value for a that's greater than or equal to 8 will be a solution to the original inequality. What would the graph of that look like? No problem. I'm allowed to equal 8, so I color in 8, and I'm allowed to have any points bigger. Those are all the points to the right. And so I, arrow, I color into the right, put an arrow, and that's the answer. And then, just like before, after the video, we could attempt some of these practice exercises. I'll try a few of these, but I'm sure they're going to be really challenging. And throughout the course, we'll also be quizzes and tests to complete, just like we saw in the seventh grade math course. So you can see, even though this course is definitely more challenging than the regular courses, the format is the same. So that's great if you have your student doing Think Well Math for several years in a row. The course format will be familiar to them each year. Now, I just want to take a look at one more course on Think Well. How about AP Chemistry? This time, the course is set up a little bit differently, and the free trial here is only going to open up the first couple chapters. So let's take a look at one of the lessons. Just like with math, there is a lecture video here to watch. The setup of the lecture is pretty similar. I'm not going to play this video since we already saw two videos, but you can see that the setup is the same. I just really love how these are set up. I think this is what makes ThinkWell stand out to me so much, is just the format of their videos. It really makes you feel like you're learning in an actual class. And then over here on the left, you'll find a checklist of what you've done in the course, a video list with your percentage viewed, additional resources for the course, including documents, as well as links to outside resources. 
There's also a glossary, assessment section, and recent activity. If you want to order printed versions of the course books, you can do that on their website. These are the same course books that come with the course as an ebook, just in print form. You can just download and print these yourself, but if you prefer to have them printed and mailed to you, this is where you go to do that. If your child needs extra help in any of the courses, you can also purchase live help sessions here. These will give you a month of one-on-one -on -one Zoom sessions at 15 minutes each, up to a total of two hours for the month. So that's another really great aspect of ThinkWell that you're not going to find on a lot of other online math programs. And I guess that's everything that I wanted to show you today about ThinkWell Homeschool. I think it's a really great option for a homeschool math curriculum for middle and high school students. I really enjoyed testing out these courses and I think the material is very good. I really don't have anything negative to say. I don't know if you're going to find a more robust math curriculum than this. The only thing I did notice is that sometimes there were some technical difficulties. I was always able to resolve them either by refreshing the page or just logging out and logging back in. And just one other small thing I noticed is that one time when I was doing the multiple choice questions, it did mark something wrong even though it was correct. But I mean, there are also typos in textbooks too, so I'm sure that this sort of thing does happen from time to time. I'm not sure if it would happen again if I had spent more time testing this out. If you have any questions on the Think Well Homeschool program or just a general question for me, let me know in the comments and I will be happy to answer. And if you do decide to purchase something from Think Well, don't forget to use my link so you can get 15% off. If you found this video helpful, I'd love it if you could let me know either by leaving me a comment or giving the video a like. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching.